Hello, my name is Rod Kowicki, author of the first book ever on fast and light speed space travel. My book is called the Supertelic Electromagnetic Gravitational Universe Technology Theory. It's a study I call the quanta, quanta physics study which explains the reasons fast and light speed space travel are possible. My theory is was formed and developed from the works of Albert Einstein's special and general relativity. It fits in both categories and ex explains a st structure in the universe that Einstein did not uh, talk about, let's say, or research. Uh, about in his theories that if he did he would have discovered that FTL fast and light speed space travel would be possible since he didn't do that uh, and you got to figure in 1903 at that time when he first printed his book which which is on the macro universe we're talking about not just gravity we're talking about interstellar space empty space uh, he did very he says very little on it except the event of of uh, what he calls intercellular gravity or quantum gravity what I want to expa expand, expand on that is in his research on the curve of space and the events of of dark matter showing like in a black hole, which at that time was never discovered, that uh, in the event a black hole curves space, makes it turns it into a a vortex, and a, it makes it spin, and it makes it a, a wormhole or a black hole. Well, uh, uh, the other part of it is that his ob observation of planets and everything shows a division between dark matter, which is interstellar space, and and its correlation with uh, matter. You know, a space curve, matter curve makes space curve, makes it push, push, just pushes it away. Well, my discovery is a little bit different. What I have discovered is is an event of what's called the uh, Kashmir effect. The Kashmir effect at the intercellular level is exactly what Einstein is talking about. The event and area of which he made his discoveries are are close to the atmosphere that where the Kashmir effect is placed because of planetary gravity and the force against uh, intercellular space or empty space. What I mean by that is we have a vacuum, empty space. Now we know that the Earth's atmosphere is made, has air and it's filled up with certain elements, life elements, you know, air, water, uh, heat, and it's all in a Pacific area. And there's there's a barrier around a three-dimensional object, planet barrier, planetary object, and that barrier is what I call a gravity, three-dimensional gravity ring around all planets that exist, except those who have zero gravity or have no atmosphere, if there exists any like that. Well, the cellular uh, uh, Kashmir effect comes in play is the division between, let's say, me sitting at this desk and all that air that is captured in this, in this uh, field of air, moisture, uh, wind, clouds, all that is is there because there's a, a magnetic uh, three-dimensional uh, gravity s s protective shield, you might say, or barrier around the Earth. We call that escape velocity. It takes a certain amount of velocity to escape the Earth's atmosphere. And all that is a barrier between 
matter, which is the planet, the planet's atmosphere, and outer interstellar space. Well, what is that protection? What makes the space curve? The Kashmir effect does. And I show this in my theory and the, the, the building blocks of uh, the Kashmir effect that show at the minimal level of which uh, show uh, what happens between two plates uh, is the same thing that happens between matter and the protective shield of interstellar space. Uh, you don't have to have a secondary uh, plate, let's say, to create a cashmere effect. What you do need, you do have to have is a planet. Planets, electrical, magnetic, or gravitational field, which is a is actually empty space, but it's a protective shield that holds in everything towards the planet. And everything outside, which is the vacuum, which is, if you learn anything about ozone layers, layers the thinner the this protective shield becomes, the more vacuum air sucks everything that exists for life here on Earth. It sucks it out. And it brings it down to a lesser uh, lesser maximum. As such, eventually the uh, atmosphere open will die because of the ozone layer. So this is very important also. And this is the Kashmir effect between planets. Uh, there, there is uh, the force between planets to create create this effect, and it's not central, centerized between interstellar space. It's centerized at the at the uh, at at its most maximum force or or or, or uh, field energy, which is the Earth's atmosphere or any planet's atmosphere. Fear. Uh, it's a very important fact that uh, about this uh, Kashmir effect in my theory on the. Earth's gravity and how it actually works. These are some of the things that Einstein did not uh, expand on. He did not explain things other than to the level of what makes gravity, what uh, force allows that except for gravity. And in effect, uh, interstellar gr gravity is not gravity at all, but empty space that is curved by matter, which are the planetary body, bodies, stars, uh, and, uh, and all, even within the galaxies, and all the planets create this, this protective shield that pr allows the planets, uh, electromagnetic uh, center of gravitation, to create a field around it. But the essence between the first and secondary part, which I says you didn't need, are the expanding and uh, all the planets in, the, in any single system, a solar system, or galaxy. This is a new uh, theory I have on, on gravitation. I think it's very important. And it does explain a lot of the things that uh, are come to question at the time of uh, when Einstein created his theory on gravitation, even though his theory was the best uh, renowned uh, uh, scientific achievement at that time, we, we must look at, at what he, we have learned from his studies and expand on them. And this is what my book does, expand, expands on Newton's theory, same way Einstein did, and now comes a time where Einstein, I am expanding Einstein's theories. Uh, like I said, my first book, The Supertelic Universe, is the first book on fast and light speed space travel. Thank you very much.